Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the demographic transition model. This is part of Paper 2, Unit B, The Changing Economic World. The demographic transition model, or the DTM, shows changes over time in the population of a country. It is based on the changes that took place as the economies grew in Western countries, such as the UK. The gap between birth and death rate is called natural change, and it normally shows a natural increase. However, in stage 5, there is a natural decrease happening. The total population of a country responds to variations in birth and death rates. It will also be affected by migration, both immigration with people moving in and emigration as people move out. However, this is not shown on the DTM. As a country becomes more developed, its population characteristics change. The graph on the screen shows a general increase in the level of development from stages 1 to 5. Let's have a look at these stages in more detail. Stage 1 is high fluctuating. Both the birth and death rates are high, making the population total low, but fluctuating. In stage 1, there is very little health care, resulting in a high death rate and low life expectancy, and no birth control, which is why the birth rate is high. The population fluctuates because of outbreaks of disease, famine and war. Very few places around the world are in stage 1 now, with the exception of some indigenous tribes, for example in parts of Indonesia, Brazil and Malaysia, where small groups of people live separately with little contact to the outside world. They have high birth rates and high death rates. The UK was in stage 1 before the Industrial Revolution. Stage 2 is early expanding. The birth rate is high and the death rate is rapidly declining, which means the population is rapidly increasing and at some point during this stage, the country will experience a population explosion. The reason this is happening is due to improved standards of living, hygiene and access to healthcare, which all increase life expectancy and result in natural increase due to the gap between birth and death rates. LICs are in stage 2 of the DTM. Even the world's poorest countries have experienced a fall in death rate due to the global efforts to tackle hunger and disease. Afghanistan is one of the poorest and least developed countries in the world. Its birth rate is 39 per 1,000 and its death rate is 14 per 1,000, which has dropped hugely over the last decade. About 80% of the population are farmers who need children to support them in the fields and tend in livestock, which is why the birth rate is high. The UK's population was in stage 2 during the early Industrial Revolution between 1760 and 1880. Stage 3 is late expanding. Here the birth rate is rapidly decreasing and the death rate slowly decreasing. So the population is still increasing, but at a much slower rate. NEEs are mostly in stage 3 of the DTM, along with some LICs. Compared with LICs, far fewer families in NEEs still live by subsistence means. So parents do not need to have large numbers of children to help farm the land. Improved health care means that contraception may be widely available, but also independent working women in NEEs are choosing to have fewer children. There is also the issue that children are expensive. Education is not free in lots of countries, so families may choose to have fewer children so they can afford to send the ones they do have to school. For example, in Bangladesh, the fertility rate is now just 2.2 children per woman on average, compared to 7 children in 1970. The UK was in stage 3 between 1880 and 1940. Stage 4 is low fluctuating. This is where the UK is now along with most HICs. Both the birth and death rates are low with a high population that may be fluctuating slightly due to whatever's going on with the economy. For example, people tend to have more children with wages are high and jobs are plentiful as they know they can support them. Access to good quality health care keeps the death rate low and the birth rate is fairly low as women in HICs tend to choose studying and their careers over having a large family and will usually start their family at a later age. In the UK, the average age of mothers giving birth to their first child is 30.9 years and the fertility rate is 1.56 births per woman. This means that usually in HICs, the population growth is down to immigration rather than natural increase. 
The UK entered stage four after the Second World War. The birth rate increased during the 1960s with an economic boom and then decreased during the 1970s due to recession. And finally, we have stage five, which is natural decrease. Here, the birth rate is slowly decreasing while the death rate is slowly increasing, resulting in a slight drop in population. People are living much longer due to improvements in healthcare and diet, but this increase in the population of older people results in an increase in the death rate. The birth rate is even lower at this stage because people have chosen to put their careers before having a family, but also periods of economic uncertainty may put people off having children temporarily. Very few countries have reached stage five. Currently, this is where Japan, Germany and Italy all are. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the demographic transition model. Thank you for watching.